Hi, I'm Chris and this is Jim and we're Midlife Travel Bug and today we are in the picturesque, beautiful city of Sintra, Portugal. Now, Sintra is just about a 20 minute drive outside of Lisbon. We chose to stay in, in Sintra for two nights rather than take a day trip from Lisbon. You can do both. There's a number of ways of getting here, either by Uber, which we chose, which was about 20 From euro. the airport of Lisbon, it was about 20, 21 euros to get all the way to the Sintra city, which we felt was good value. Um, you could also take the train to get here, and I think once you get to the train station, you can just walk up into the city or, or catch a local bus. Absolutely, it's a very picturesque town. So why people come here is because it's full of ancient castles, yes. romantic castles, it's a very uh, hilly city, but it's absolutely stunning. We got uh, castles from the 5th and 6th century, the 18th century, the 19th century. There are so many things to do and see, and you just can't do it on a day trip alone. The Painted Palace was five kilometers from the town of Sintra. We took a tuk-tuk all the way up. Yeah, people have recommended you can walk up and you can, but word of advice, if you only have a little bit of time here, I, it's a long way up and a lot of buses coming down at you. So it's worth the money to take the bus or uh, tuk-tuk as well, because your time is money and it is still quite a hike to get to the top of the castle as well, about a half an hour uphill and then through the castle and then back down so keep that in mind plan on spending what a couple hours in in the yeah. lineups and walking yeah. through the palace if you're not booking your tickets online or you don't have your tickets ahead of time you're going to be in lineups like that trying to buy tickets and you're going to be there for a while I'm there. 
never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm well aware. I don't want So when you get up to the top of the palace, you still have to stand in line, and it's pretty much lined up right down <laughs> to the entrance. Down. But good thing we bought tickets online to speed up that process at least. So. Absolutely beautiful. We didn't know we actually had tickets to go inside as well, so we did wander through the inside. A little painful going through the lineup to to get through the palace, but it's it's really neat to see all their furniture and all their items still in the palace. It's quite spectacular. I think the best part of it is how colorful it is, all the tiles. It's it's so unique, and then the, the views from up here. I mean, wow, that's yeah. pretty spectacular. So. And again, make sure you pre-book your ticket because I did, I do believe that saved us a significant amount of time. We booked online, it was 13.50 euro each to get in. You could opt for the little shuttle bus that goes from the entrance of the palace up to the top. It's about a half an hour walk. It was totally walkable though. So we, we think this was money well spent and I'm so glad that we came to this palace. It's beautiful. Our goal right now is to get to Quinta de la Regalera, and that's the other castle in the area. So we're just walking from Sintra Town and the historical center, and we're gonna try to see if we can walk. It says it's about a 10 minute walk, closes at 5.30. It's very flat walk, so no problem getting there at all. Look what you get this guy. This World UNESCO Heritage Site was constructed in the 1800s. So you can buy your e-tickets online before you come in, otherwise you're going to stand in a big lineup. The entrance fee was 11 euro per person, plus a couple of euro for tax. So the main draw of this place is the initiation well. And when you come up to it, you'll see a lineup that could be like for hours. So we're in a debate right now whether we should stay and check it out, but the lineup is unbelievably long. So we waited about a half an hour in the lineup just for you guys, just so we could show you this amazing place. And uh, yeah, so another place that Chris takes me when she knows that I'm afraid of heights and that, you know, it's a long way down. It's a long way down. So that's why I always let Chris go ahead of me is because I don't want her to push me down and stuff.
you taking me? Let's see. I'll go first. You go first, because if you run into the webs, then they'll probably jump on me. So there's a whole labyrinth underground cave system here. And it's pretty cool because it just goes everywhere. So I'm lost right now, can't find anyone. Where are you? <laughs> this is insane. This is much larger than I am. Pretty interesting and uh, pitch black, so make sure you have your flashlight out and you might get dripped on from all the water from the ceiling. We just left this beautiful property and Jim will put the name of it down below because I tried to pronounce it six times and it's not working. So uh, 11 euros to get in, um, really kind of an interesting place. You have the big well that you can go down to the bottom and this tunnel way that goes through, which I wasn't expecting. Another little tunnel way that, again, under a pond I wasn't expecting. And then this beautiful building behind me that's just pretty impressive to walk through. But this estate is beautiful. Now we spent all day here today and we managed to see two of the castles and sort of venture around the city just a little bit. It's quite cute, but you definitely could spend a couple of days here if you're interested in seeing the castles. And I would recommend staying here versus just a day trip. Again, depends on your time, but we've sure enjoyed the quaint small town and it's pretty busy. It's so beautiful. It's so cute. Lots of restaurants, lots of yes. people to drive you up to the castles as well. You could take a tuk-tuk up there. But they are walkable, it's not that bad. It's they're, it's hilly, but they're doable and, and close to town. We'll put on some comfy shoes and plan to come spend at least a couple of days here if you do get the opportunity to come to Sintra. So we just left the Quinta de la Riga... <laughs> Quinta de la Regalera. So we just left the Quinta de la Legaria. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Fuck, like seriously. The, we just so, left the Quinta de Digalarera. Here, just say we just left this. <laughs> we just left this property. 